Simon, Open Minds Hypermill software is, uh, is the programming side of this part. Can you tell us a little bit about how you go about doing that and how long it takes? Yeah, so people... certainly. Um, before I do that though, Paul, I'd like to really just thank Nikon for inviting us to this event. Um, we're proud to be partners, technical partners to Nikon, and we look forward to a good partnership. Um, getting back to the, the part here in question, which is a multi-blade impeller, um, as you've probably heard, we're looking at about a three-minute um, machining cycle. The programming times typically for this would be around six minutes. Six minutes? Six what minutes. to program that? Yeah, yeah. It's simply as, as simple as selecting the template that suits that style of part, selecting the surfaces, selecting the faces, hitting calculate, 11 minutes later, fully programmed part. Okay, so you've it. got templates within the software which you can, you can, you can pull in yeah. And then you just change them depending on the size of the part or the style of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a, a family of templates that suit different styles of, of parts. We've got uh, dedicated machining cycles for, for blade machining. So it's really quite an easy task. Once this is programmed then and your, the machine is machining it, how does your software go about helping in the reduction of the cycle time? What, what's happening? What, what's happening when it's crunching the numbers? To well, it's really uh, a very efficient toolpath. As you can see, it's uh, extremely smooth. There's very little hand finishing involved afterwards, if any. Um, so it's an extremely efficient toolpath. But as well as that, you know, machines like this, which are quite capable of being fed, a lot of different points because as you can appreciate there's a lot of axis movement on a part like this so there's going to be a lot of points being fed into the machine. There are various factors Simon in the makeup of this type of part. We've got the machine tool, we've got the, the direct drive nick and table, the tooling, work holding and all of that but also the cam system. Where does it fit in your opinion in amongst all of those in, a, in, in its importance? That's a good question. If you imagine it, regardless of how, the ability of the, the CNC machine, it's, it's really only going to do what the cam system is telling it to do. So imagine the cam system is the engine management system of a, a modern car engine. You know, it's helping the efficiency, helping the fuel economy, helping the speed of that car. It's exactly the same with the CNC machine. So why would you think then, Simon, that, that Hypermill by OpenMind has been selected to be part of this overall package for making this part? Well, I think that um, you know our partners all agree that uh, Hypermill is extremely strong in the area of five axis, not only three axis but five axis as well. Um, using this part as an example, you know, to achieve the type of programming times and cycle times and surface finish that we we can achieve from this really speaks for itself. I mean, a six-minute programming time, ten-minute calculation time, three-minute cycle time on a machine. I, speaks for itself. So when I buy Hypermill, does it come with a range of standard templates I can dive into, a, a pool of templates that originally exist or are shared on a platform? Um, not necessarily. The, uh, the, the templates are very easy to create. So typically for a, a part like that, the template would take about two hours, but that would suit a, a range of different, different parts, not just the one part, obviously. So you just create the template initially, it's a two-hour job to create that, and then that will be suitable for a range of different parts. I get it. Nature. It makes it much more simpler, doesn't it? Brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah, like I say, cutting the, the programming times down from, from hours down to, down to less than 10 minutes is, is quite an achievement. Fascinating. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Paul.